I'd like to talk to you uh, while I'm making dinner today, and I hope you don't mind. I'm making fried pork chops, gravy, and biscuits, and as I was gathering the ingredients, flour, milk, eggs, salt, pepper, and cooking oil, I just had a flashback to when I was a child. And if you've been following me for very long, you know I grew up in a very large family of nine. We were dirt poor, and if I'm being honest, we couldn't even afford dirt. So that brings me to the reason for being so chatty today. On the extremely rare occasion that we had pork chops, if we had eggs, we certainly didn't use those to coat anything except our stomachs. We never had milk, ever, except when what we got during the school year at lunch. So I remember the way mom fried pork chops. She had self-rising flour that she bought by the large bag, I think 25 pounds or more, and the huge buckets of lard. She would wet the chops with the water, cover in flour, salt and pepper, and fry until they were a golden brown and the coating was crisp. Very tasty. So trying to make a long story short, I'm going to make the chops the way mom did. Mom used water in the gravy and I'm adding milk. And also mom never rolled out biscuit dough. She just mixed the ingredients and formed the biscuits by hand. Also she used water in the dough and I am using milk. But the whole point is how she fried the pork chops, right? Mom also had to cook on a cast iron cooking stove. It had a stove pipe leading to the outside because it had to be loaded with wood and a fire started to even cook. I still to this day can't understand how she baked anything. There was no temperature gauge or any way to regulate the temperature at all. I guess she got used to it and knew when to put something in and when to take it out. It was blazing hot in the summertime, and uh, but helped keep us warm in the winter. I remember Dad getting up through the night to reload the stove with wood so we wouldn't freeze to death. Anyway, this is supposed to be about pork chops, right? Sorry about that. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I didn't bore you to death, and I'll see you next time.